Basic tutorial number 24. In this lesson, what we're going to talk about is a assignment called To the Beat. In this one, if you ever notice in commercials, movies and stuff like that, sometimes the scenes and the pictures and stuff like that go with the actual beats of the music, motions of the music, stuff like that. So that's what we're going to produce. Um, so, but you're going to need a few things before you start. You're going to need to go on to uh, into Google Images or some image search and get 20 pictures on some type of theme. Um, and put it into a folder on your desktop. You also need to grab a 30 second type of music clip. It can be longer than 30 seconds, so you can edit that. Uh, but I just chose something that was 30 seconds, and that's as long as it, the minimum that it has to be. All right, so um, there's also, if you're looking for music, there's this website called Free Play Music, uh, which is really great. And they have um, a lot of different free songs that you can get uh, if you're just using it for um, non commercial purposes. So the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to start a new project in iMovie. So to start a new project, we have to go down here to this little plus sign and press that. We're just going to go with no theme, new project. We'll call this to the beat. And then your last name. Uh, and then create. What's interesting about this thing this time is what we have to do is we have to drag these pictures. From, we can put them into iPhoto and do all this importing and stuff like that, but it's easier um, just to pull, pull them straight from the desktop onto the timeline. So if you double click uh, your pictures here, if I just go and select a bunch of them, I'm just going to select that, get rid of my music one. Um, if I pull these in, when you do that, what ends up happening is that um, all these pictures end up becoming like... Um, kind of like it gets a Ken Burns effect to it. So what you end up have to do if you set your preferences first, I'm just going to delete all these. And then you have to go up to the file and then go up to project properties. In here you can go initial photo placement ends up going to we're just going to fit in the frame. Uh, if you don't do that, you'll end up getting all the Ken's Bur Ken Burns effect. Uh, and the duration, this is just set at well, four seconds and we can mess with that and that's fine. So if we press OK, um, it will, we can now bring in all of our photos. Here's our music. I'm just going to pull this up to the top here if I can. No, I can't. So if I press Command, I can select more than one picture. I'm going to do these all in one big swoop. Um, and then we got this. And then I'm just going to take it and pull it down right into here. As soon as I let go of that, it's going to import all of my pictures in a row. And when I go past them, it shouldn't have any kind of effect on them, which is exactly what I want. All right, so now I need to bring in my music. So I'm just going to bring in my music, pull this in, and I want it to be over the whole thing. Now I know that all my pictures, I got way too many pictures. I know this. Um, and that's okay, because I can get rid of some at the end. Because um, my music is only this long, but my pictures go all the way to here. So what you end up having to do is you have to shorten these up a little bit. But what I want to show you really is we're looking at your waveform. Um, here's our waveform right here. And what you can see at the top of here, this is kind of like where the beat happens. So if I play this a little bit... Okay, so my first beat kind of hits like right here. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this, pull it to about here, and this is going to be really quick. And then I so I go to the outside, have that little yellow. If I right click it, I can trim to selection. So what that does is it basically brings it in like that, um, and it's 0.5 seconds, and this one starts at the right time. Uh, and then I can kind of see where my next beat is. All right, so my next beat is right here. So I'm going to select this picture, and I'll pull this back to about here. So when I play this again, I didn't do I got to do the trim to selection. I messed that up. All right, so, all right, so that's it. basically what you're going to do is you're going to line it up so you have find the beat of the song and change your picture as the beat goes. Um, so if you can make 20 of them in 30 seconds, that's great. But basically your music is what's going to dictate. It's going to be 30 seconds. Um, and that's it. Thanks.